Hi honeys, I am back for October favorites. I cannot believe it. I'm doing them a little bit early only because I'm in the middle of Toronto Fashion Week right now and things are absolutely crazy for me. But I thought that this would be a quick easy video that I could get up for all of you just so I didn't miss my Thursday uh, mornings. Um, <clears throat> actually, who am I kidding? The rest of my month is like insane, but I didn't want to miss for you guys, so I'm here. So for my October favorites, again, I've got a random mix of things from fashion, beauty, um, and then a few miscellaneous items, but most of it's, you know, fashion beauty related. Um, the first is that <clears throat> I, most of you know that I'm obsessed with statement jewelry. The bigger, the better for me. Um, I'm normally partial to, uh, necklaces and rings myself, but I know a lot of people love earrings. I just, for me, I've never caught on to that personally. There are definitely some gorgeous options out there. One of my favorite places to look at recently has uh, been Emerald Bling. They have these gorgeous, gorgeous necklaces that are similar to the J. Crew ones, um, but are for a fraction of the price, which is great. And I love this one because of the uh, different colors and it. it's got kind of brown, gray, uh, blue, and then a clear crystal in it. It is so beautiful and because of its coloring I thought it was fairly versatile so that's why I got this one I absolutely love it um, again it's emeraldbling.com you can only order from them online and I think this one I think I think was around 60 ish don't quote me for sure but again you can go online they'll definitely be there another one that I got from them too is this beautiful kind of crystal bling-esque necklace and I think this was 85 online but it is so gorgeous and because of the locks that they've got on top and the chains, you can make it either short or long. So depending on what you're wearing, you can, you know, adjust it so it suits what you're wearing. So that's kind of nice. So love, love these. Like all months, I I normally go out and buy fashion magazines. Um, I bought Vogue. I've already run through it for October, so I've already pitched it and can't show you what it was. Um, but the other one I picked up were my Canadian magazines, Flair Fashion, which is great, and then Fashion Canada, which... Um, I love, I pick this one up every single month, um, but I love them, they're great reads. I always pick up my fashion magazines for the month and make sure that I'm flipping through those. thing that I picked up that actually is unrelated to any beauty or fashion, and this is so random, I love movies, I love nights in with my husband where we can just, you know, bum out and eat junk food and just get cozy and kind of lounge for the night. I like low back, or low back. What is that? A low-key nights. So two movies actually that I got. The first one is World War Z. Not only do I love me some Brad Pitt because he is a gorgeous man, but I actually hate zombie movies most of the time. I think they're really cheesy. I don't like them. And I had been invited to go see a private premiere of this movie back, you know, before it was released in theaters and loved this one. Um, it was one of the few kind of zombie-esque movies that didn't really irk me the wrong way. So... I was really excited when this came out on DVD and had to buy it. And then the other one that was actually a surprise for my husband because I'm a huge dork and I love Disney. And one of my favorite movies as a little kid was Disney's The Little Mermaid. And so he got me this. I love it. I just thought Ariel was the prettiest thing when I was a kid <laughs> and just absolutely loved her to pieces. Um, it's still my favorite movie, hands down, by Disney um, from my, my childhood and she's my favorite Disney princess. But it was so sweet of him. He just walked in with it and, get, and gave it to me. So uh, thank you, honey. The other thing I've been doing this month is actually wearing my glasses a lot. Normally I... I can't see distance, I'm blind as a bad distance, so I normally have glasses with me in the car um, and sometimes to watch TV and so on, but it's not too, too bad. So I don't have to wear them all the time and I don't wear contacts during the day or anything. But I find recently I've been drawn towards them and I do have about four or five pairs of glasses that I tend to rotate depending on what I'm wearing or just what I'm feeling. So recently I've been wearing these glasses by Warby Parker, so I'll show you what they look like. They're kind of my geek chic glasses, if you will. Um, I just love them. I like that they're oversized and kind of nerdy, but I love the kind of black and brown um, kind of leopard print frame. And again, because they're black, they go with just about anything, but I absolutely love them. So I guess it's kind of more of that hipster look, but I've been gravitating towards these recently. And the reason I bought Warby Parker is I love that their frames with the lenses are $120, I think. 
And the good thing is, is that for every pair of glasses you buy, they donate one to a child in need that can't afford glasses and needs them for reading and um, education and so on. So they're a good cause that way. And like I said, just so random that I've been wanting to wear my glasses all the time recently. So hopefully that doesn't make my vision worse because my eyes will get accustomed to wearing them all the time. But I absolutely love them. And I think their website is warbyparker.com. But you can check out... Uh, their frames and stuff there they're fantastic the other thing that I have been using which I did show you in my last video are a few body shop products um, the PR company sent me some of their fall and winter collection that hasn't been released yet it will be out on November the 4th and it's not a paid review they just sent it to me so I could write about it on my blog but um, the one thing I've been loving of theirs is this four pack of eyeshadow and they do have two coming out on November 4th this one in particular I love because it is these beautiful plum colors, which actually I've got in my eye right now. And they're just a really great on-trend color for fall. They also have one in uh, browns and, and whatnot uh, as well if you want something a little bit more neutral. But these are great. And then they come with two teeny tiny brushes on the top. So it's a good travel to go kit. And I'm wearing it today because I'm going to be scooting to Fashion Week afterwards and I'll use it probably for touch-ups. The other thing from them that I've been loving are their two fragrances that they will also be coming out with. Uh, one is Indian Night Jasmine, which is so beautiful. I cannot even describe how light and feminine and soft this fragrance is. It is so gorgeous, and every time I wear it, I am asked where I got this from. Um, so this is great, and I think when it comes out, I believe, I believe, please don't quote me, I think it comes out for about 22 to 24 dollars a bottle depending on what size you get but again like I said wait till it's online because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure to be honest and then the other one that I also love by them is this white musk it's white musk libertine um, it's the Leona Lewis fragrance which again will be coming out November 4th but it is so gorgeous it's a little bit heavier um, but again it's still light enough that you could do it during the day and wear it at night time so I really really love this and it's one that I've been wearing constantly so it's really beautiful another beauty product that I love is um, Core Cora's Cores I'm not sure how you say their name um, they have this beautiful body butter and this one is Jasmine Extra Moisturizing Cream for Dry Skin. So around this time of year, my skin just hates me. Like, <laughs> I can't win. It always goes so dry and it's just because the weather's, you know, kind of changing. You're inside and then you're outside. And, you know, going from the heat to the really cool weather just doesn't overly cooperate with my skin very well. So this is the nicest body butter. I find that oftentimes when you put a body butter on your cream, on your, when you put a body butter on your cream, what is that? <laughs> when you put a body butter on your hand or your body, I find that there's a leftover residue. Like it's just, it's heavy. You feel kind of sticky afterwards. And I don't know, I just think it's really gross. This is fantastic. There's no residue after the fact and it feels really beautiful when you're gliding on your skin and of course your skin feels baby soft afterwards. So I've almost gone through this entire bottle but we'll be buying it again. It's one of my staples for winter time. I absolutely love it. And I believe you can get these or Cora's, Cora's, however you say their name, in Sephora. And you can also get them in Shoppers Drug Mart for those of you that are in Canada as well, like myself. The other thing that I got jewelry related is this fun little cocktail ring. This was from a boutique in Toronto called L Hardware. I love it. It is so big and um, I'll put it on my pinky. So like just to give you an idea, like what is that? I just, it's so great. So I love oversized pieces. I'm actually going to wear this one tonight to Toronto Fashion Week. Um, I think it's fantastic and I've been wearing it constantly. So this has been something that has been a staple in my wardrobe now for the month. So that is why it is in my favorites also. I'm going to Fashion Week and actually October seems to be a busy month for a lot of fashion events uh, in Toronto anyways. So because I'm dashing from one event to the other and I'm with clients during the day and then um, like God knows where afterwards, I'm an extremely lazy lipstick application person. Um, most of the time I'll tend to go towards a gloss, something that's really easy that I can toss on and dash into whatever appointment I'm going to. But because Fashion Week's around the corner and I really need my lipsticks to last, I've been reverting to the Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge line. These are a great lip stain and they're one of the few that don't become 
flaky if you've eaten afterwards if you have a drink while wearing it or if just if you've had it on for a long time there's other lip stains that I've had that dry so disgusting this these are not like that they don't do anything they just stay put for about 16 hours is my experience with them uh, they have a gloss on the bottom of all of them which is great just to keep them moisturized so one swipe around my mouth just to get the color on there is all I need and it will last until I take it off the only problem is because it's a waterproof it does take a little bit more scrubbing to get off on your lips at the end of the night I don't have waterproof makeup remover because I don't wear waterproof makeup other than these although I guess I should probably invest in getting a remover um, so that's why I find it a little bit harder to get off but like I said it does the trick these are absolutely phenomenal and these are sold in Sephora I think oh I'm gonna get this wrong I think it's $32 a piece I believe um, so I didn't buy all these at once these ones I bought back in the summer and because they're so bright I'm not using them as frequently at the moment these are the ones that I'm using the most because they're more winterized and you've got the killer red here which is number eight and it is absolutely stunning just so you guys can see the color there um, this one is number two so there's the coloring of that and this one is number 13 so I always use this or the I reminds me of like more of a 90s style dark moody lip I absolutely love it it's so beautiful and then these two kind of pastel and coral ones one is number 20 and the other is 18 in case those of you that are asking so this one is 20 here this one's 18 but I love them they are my staple lipsticks I constantly replenish these because I go through them like crazy so if any of you haven't tried them please please go do so you will absolutely freaking love it it's so amazing the other obsession I've had for the month of October are beanies as you can see I'm wearing one right now this is kind of like the boyfriend sludgy beanie which I like um, I'm not someone that can pull off baseball caps I don't look very good in them I tend to look good in the rounder um, like beanies and hats because I have a more round and oval face so they suit me a little bit better and I like that kind of slouchy comfortable look so because it's again becoming colder out I find myself wearing this beanie all the time and I do have some others that are in bright coral shades and browns and some that are some that are sorry multicolored as well but absolutely love them I'm obsessed with beanies the other thing too that I've been wearing this fall which I picked up last fall and I believe they're still around are my combat boots again what I'm going to be wearing tonight but these are extremely comfortable they go you know you can tuck them into leggings skinny jeans um, you know regular jeans if you want to put them over top um, these are Steve Madden combat boots I don't remember what I paid for them because I got them last year but I mean combat boots or like you know any kind of any kind of boot that looks like this are very in style still and they are so comfortable so it's a great alternative to a flat if you're looking for something a little bit flatter or even a high boot um, I mean boots are always great come fall and winter anyway so I've been wearing these to death because I love them so so much and I like that it's got kind of a brass zipper because again the closer I can get to a gold hardware for me I like because as you all know I'm obsessed with gold it's pretty sad <laughs> so anyway I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week hope you have an amazing weekend and if you guys do your October favorites too, tag me in them I'd love to see them and I will chat to all of you next Thursday see you later